Hey guys, what's going on? It's William, and today I'm going to be showing you the second part of the hammer tutorial. Open up your hammer right now, and uh, the things I'll be going over today are doors, buttons, or buttons that can open doors, which is what I'm going to be showing you, uh, how to make spawns for both the T's and the CT's, or terrorists and counter terrorists, and how to make stairs, which is very simple. So let's open yay. up the map that we did before. Obviously, yay. And, um,. So what do we got here? We got stairs, we got CTs, and we got the rest of the map I made. Oh, I'm going to be showing you to make ladders too, apparently. Okay, let's have fun with that. So first, I'm going to address this little issue here. See this little graphical error? That can show up in-game. So, something I'm going to advise you to do would be to, you know, not make the, the first part flat. See, we made it flat like that? That's a really bad idea, so let's just go and fix that. That. This just a tiny bit bigger. Fucking go up, you bitch. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's about, that's about right. Okay, now that, that should fix the graphical error of uh, doing what we did, which is make it flat, which is a bad idea. So now let's get on to making the stairs. So the stairs we got right here, I made them 112 by th uh, 32. So. Let's go and make another staircase over here. Block. 112 by 32. Press enter. We'll get that. We'll get a little brick there. Now, here's the awesome part of Hammer, or Source Engine, whichever you want to call it. The awesome part about it is to copy and paste, or to just, just copy and paste like that. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But whatever. To copy and paste, you do this. Go up here, little arrow thing. Hold shift, drag, and drop. Shift, drag, and drop. Shift, drag, and drop. It's literally that easy. It's probably one of the easiest things you could do in Hammer Editor is create a staircase. Or other than like simple stuff. But I mean like, for advanced stuff, it's probably the easiest goddamn thing you could do. Uh, I did promise you guys I was going to make uh, a video with custom textures on how to do that. Uh, I will be doing that the next time because uh, I don't think I would have the time to be able to show you guys all these other techniques uh, if I was going to do that. So uh, let's just continue with our staircase. I'll speed this up right now so I can finish the staircase and you guys will still be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, let's do that now. Always honest, but you tell you the truth. They respond on occasion. You're behaving uncouthly. And it ought to clean up your act. You've got one in particular dispenses with tax. Is it plain to your face? Is advice unimpeachable? Feel chastised. Any animals teachable? Any goals reachable? Let us impart. We declare. We declaim. We decry. We remark. The ethics and etiquette have yet to jump shark. Dynamite strap. Boom, but yet to set spark. With that in mind, employ each as it lingers. Keep the phrase in ready reach of your fingers, lest you forget for a moment. That Trap a gate frozen, pull out and read it, your friend. Consistently counsels the same, urging all dickishness struck from the game. Your friend Okay, now we got a staircase that's pretty much identical to the other one. Seems to be evening out pretty well. So now let's go on to make a ladder. To make a ladder, I'll just move this over so you guys can see what I've done to make a ladder. It's pretty fucking simple. It's pretty much just make a fucking ladder. Or make what, what you think a ladder would look like. Okay, so now, the first thing we gotta do is make a shitty ladder. So go right here to the textures and uh, click wood, or type wood, sorry. And just just choose whichever one looks good to you. This one looks good. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let's go over here. Just put it up right now. Make it smaller to make it look like plank. Make sure that's up against the wall. Yep. Okay, then press enter. Now just go like this. Hold shift. Okay, so make the wooden plank. 
zoom in a bit so you're able to get to it. Hold shift, move it over just a bit. Doesn't matter how much. Okay, ladder's looking pretty retarded. Doesn't really matter. Just if you want to fix it, just make it a bit thinner. Like that. Okay. Now what do we gotta do? We gotta go like this. We gotta make another one. Same wooden plank with uh, just going to the side to make it look like little steps. Just make little tiny steps about that size. Really doesn't matter what size. Once again, we gotta choose wood. You might not have to do that, by the way. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, and now, same here. Go up, bring it down a bit, press enter. Now just choose the selection one, hold shift, bring it down. Shift, bring it down. Scroll down, hold shift, bring it down, hold shift, bring it down. And finally, hold shift and bring it down. And now, what we've got to do is come over here to this part right here and type in invisible ladder. And then just choose this one here. Now we have to make this go around the whole ladder, so top to bottom, which really everything. Up. Let's go to the top of the ladder. Make it stick out a little bit, by the way. Just about an inch. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. Okay, now, build it. Now, hold control and press T. Now, you'll, this thing will pop up. Now, you're going, oh, shit. Shit's getting serious. Trust me, it's not difficult. Just click class and scroll down to ladder. Apply and close. It's that easy. Now when you go into game, you'll be just be able to waltz right up the ladder like it's nothing. And now let's go to the door. This is probably the hardest thing I'm going to teach you guys so far. So get ready. So we just have to make this little part right here. Uh, I already made it. It's just a little opening. So now what we got to do is we got to make a door. Or make what would be the door. So just... Try to get right here, it should be close enough to what it looks like. Okay, now come back over here to the materials, or the textures, sorry. And this time you gotta type in door. Choose whatever door, it really doesn't matter what door. Just, uh, let's go with a simple door. Simple, simple, simple door. Let's go with this door. Okay, now what you wanna do is just press enter like usual. And now the texture is pretty fucked up, and it might be time to panic, but don't worry. Do not worry. Just double click. Sorry, not double click. We gotta go to this texture thing right here. And here's the face edit sheet. This one right here on the left with the weird little colors that says toggle texture application. And the, usually the best thing to do is fit. Fit usually works out, and then you just edit it from there. But sometimes, like now, it doesn't work. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to edit it yourself. Let's go like this. Oh, shit. Get a bit bigger. Really doesn't matter what the door looks like for now. This is only a test map. So let's see what that door looks like. It looks looks a bit fucked up, but you know, it's a door for now. It doesn't even touch the ground. Okay, yeah, that's it. Sorry. And now, uh, what we're gonna have to do is Control T again. Funk door. Double click. Uh, sorry, you have to press Enter, and then just name it Door One. And then apply. Now, before closing that, you're gonna want to go to Flags and not Touch Open. Turn off Touch Opens completely, and apply. And then just close that. And now we're going to want to make a button to open the door with. Let's go to browse, type in button. Uh, this button's good, let's choose this button. So now let's make the button right beside the door that we just made. Let's make the button right, right about here. Let's make it the button fairly tiny or the texture will look really weird. Um, I actually have no idea how big the texture should be for now or how big it should be. So let's just, just go with this. Get a bit thin where the texture will look weird. 
now if press enter. This button looks weird. Go back to the face editor thingy, face, face edit sheet, and click fit. There we go. There's our button. Now what we want to do is, once again, click on it, control T, funk detail, button. Right there, button. Press enter. Name it. Door one button. Apply. Now what we're going to want to do is flags, not use activates. You're going to want to toggle and damage activates. So it's either, uh, oh, and don't move. Don't move also. So you're going to toggle it when you go up to it, or you could shoot it, either or. Now for outputs, we're going to have to go click on add down here. My output named should be on pressed. Target entities, door one, obviously. Via this input, scroll down and find open. There, now click apply. And see, see how easy that was? We just made a door. We just made a door that's openable. Now what we want to do is we want to hold down alt and press enter on the door again so we can change where the door moves. Um, right here at the bottom, move direction. What do you guys want it to open up, down, or you can click here and just move the point, whichever direction you want. For argument's sake, let's just make it move down. Just make it completely move off the screen. Or, you know what, let's, let's change it up a bit. Let's make it move off to the left. Oh shit, getting all advanced future technology in here. Okay, let's apply. Okay, D tool, sorry. And it should be a counter-terrorist. Now, what you want to do, I mean, this should be terrorist, and then you have to double-click on him, and uh, from this little thing here, to click on counter-terrorist. It's pretty simple. Now, what you want to do after that is come up here, shift-click, 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 and then one final shift-click. There. And we have four, five, six people, and four, five, six, six people there. So it's a six v six match, uh, team death match, because I haven't put in a, I haven't put in people to save and or a bomb site. So this is what we have right now. Let's save it, and uh, let's see what it looks like in game after pressing F nine, which I hope you all remember how to do. It's a button. Press that. Click OK. And I will see you guys in game. So here's what our map looks like in game. Go to resume game, auto assign, doesn't really matter. Notice how on the counter terrorist we spawn at the top. There's our ladders. This one looks a little bit worse than the other one, but here's the other ladder that looks a lot better than the other one. Looks really good. And now let's go check out uh, what's going on over here. There's our button. So we shut it. Nothing happened. Oh. Well, we kind of messed up on our door. But, nonetheless, it still moves. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> well, uh, just remember that, uh, you're gonna have to test it out each time. Just keep, uh, choosing different ways for the door to move before you find a way that you like the door to move in the way you want it to. So, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it has its minor flaws, such as this fucking door. But, um, you know, everything else still worked out just fine. Uh, next week, I'll probably be doing the, uh, the buy zones and whatnot. But, if you guys really want the custom textures, just say and I'll make a video on how to put the custom textures into Hammer. Thank you.